Hello friends, today we are discussing multi regime model of traffic flow. Till now in my earlier sessions, I have told you about Green Shield model, Greenberg model and Underwood model. Green Shield model assumes a linear relationship between speed and density in the entire range of traffic flow. This is the speed and that is the density and this is the green shield model. This is simple model but many researchers have shown that the linear relationship does not cover the entire traffic flow conditions on the road. Greenberg model is a logarithmic form of the model and it basically like this. This is Greenberg. You can watch my earlier video on Green Shield and Greenberg and Underwood. I have made three different videos. Now this is u is equal to uf into ln kj upon k. This is logarithmic relationship. And the problem with this that the at k is equal to 0, density becomes infinite. So free flow speed is not determined by this equation. So when k is 0, u becomes infinite. That is the drawback of this equation. That means it cannot be used to predict speed under low traffic densities. Third is Underwood model. Underwood suggested a exponential relationship between the speed and density. And this equation is under wood model that is u is equal to u 0 into e to the power minus k upon k 0. Now again this gem density is infinite when u is kept 0 here density becomes very high k is infinite. So that means this underwood model is also not suitable for high traffic density conditions. Because of these reasons, these researchers suggested that a single equation cannot predict the speed or density in the entire range of traffic flow. And two regime model, Eddy presented two regime model. Multi regime models basically they identify the congested condition and uncongested condition. If you take a case of a highway and you draw a speed flow diagram, this is uncongested flow and this is congested flow. So two regime model takes different equations for congested and uncongested flow. Eddy was the person who first suggested two models for free flow condition or free flow case u is 54.9 e to the power minus k upon 163.9. This was based on some traffic data collected in Chicago. Eddy suggested that when the density, density is less than or equal to 50 vehicles per mile, then this is the green model which will be applicable. And when it is more than 50 vehicles per mile for congested conditions, congested flow conditions, there is another u is equal to 26.8 ln 162.5 upon k when k is more than or equal to 50 vehicles per mile. Now this is Underwood model because Underwood model is not applicable for high traffic densities. So you can use Underwood model for this reason of the curve. This is Greenberg model logarithmic equation. 
and Greenberg model is not suitable for light traffic conditions and therefore for this part of the curve he suggested the Greenberg model. Now this is tourism model. So if you plot Q K relationship using these equations because Q will be K into U, Q will be K into U u is given by this equation. So, if this is the flow in vehicles per hour and this is the density in vehicles per mile, then this will be something like this. You will have this kind of relationship where q is 54.9 into k e to the power minus k upon 163.9 from this equation. That is the uncongested part of the curve and for congested part of the curve it will be like this. It will be like this that Q is equal to 268.26.8 K into ln 162.5 upon K. And similarly if you make a plot between speed and density this is density, this is speed, then it will be like this. It will be like this. The first part up to a density of 50, this equation will be the governing equation and for more than 50, this equation will be the governing equation. When you compare it with green shield equation, which is a single regime model, then green shield curve will be a single parabola for the entire range of traffic flow. This is the speed and this is the flow vehicles per hour. Whereas this eddy tourism model will be like this. Now here is the transition between the two curves. So this is two regime model as suggested by Eddy and this is green shield equation which is a single parabola. Now this two regime model or three regime model can be of any shape. It can be logarithmic, can be exponential, can be straight line also depending upon the data. Depending upon the data. There are certain researchers who have suggested a straight line relationship for congested and uncongested flow. U is 60.9.515 K for K less than equal to 65 and U is 40 minus 0.265 K for K more than 65 vehicles per mile. This is for uncongested condition, so you have a higher slope here and higher free flow speed. This is for congested flow, so you have a lower slope here. So this will be like this, when you plot the speed density curve, you take V here, you take K here. This part will be steeper because you have a steep slope here, so it will be like this and then it will be a flat slope like this and finally meeting the x-axis. At some point you get the jam density here. Or it can be modified Greenberg model also that for k is equal to less than or equal to 35, u is 48 miles per hour for k less than or equal to 35. And u will be 32 ln 145.5 upon k for k more than 35 miles per 35 vehicles per mile. These are based on actual traffic data collected in the field. So here it will be like this that when you plot speed density curve it is 48 up to a density of 35 and then it is logarithmic, so it will be like this. This is second part. 
you can convert this graph into a speed flow diagram and then find out what will be the maximum flow. So, in, in case of three regime model, it can be like this that you have a first regime which is a flat, then a second regime which is very steep and a third regime which is again a flat. All three are a straight line. That is Drake model. Drake suggested three equations. One for uncongested, another is for transition. Transition is basically this part. This part is transition and then congested flow condition. The challenge here is to find out the transition point. And this has been expressed by many researchers that when you use two regime model or three regime model, the major challenge is how to determine this break point. That is difficult to and that is possible only when you plot actual data on your xy coordinate. But these multi regime model provide considerable improvement over single regime model. They give better results. Because that was the criticism or green shield equation that it does not fit well into the actual field data. Now, let me quickly take one example just to illustrate how do we find the capacity of a road using two regime model. Let us say a speed density relationship on a section of the road is like this. For k is equal to less than equal to or less than 30 speed is 80 km per hour for k less than or equal to 30 vehicles per kilometer and the second part is u is 100 minus 0.584 k for k more than 30 vehicles per kilometer so this is the speed this is the density this is 80 up to a density of 30 and then this equation is governed this part is governed by this equation 100 minus 0.584 k now if you make a plot between speed and flow then for this part the flow will be this is part one and this is part two so for part one q is k into u that is 80 k straight line and k varies from 0 to 30 vehicles per kilometer and for second part that is your green shield equation 100 k minus 0.584 k square so you make a plot here you make a plot here it is a straight line and then it takes a turn here that is the capacity that capacity will be something like 4280 vehicles per hour. That is the capacity of this road. So, it all basically depends upon the traffic data. It will also depend upon location of traffic data. Say, for example, if you take data on a freeway section, that is the freeway, you have a merging on ramp and the diverging that is your off ramp and that is the flow on this now if you take the data here away from this merging section let us say at a or you take data very much away from this diverging section at b you may get the data in this part only in this part only because it is uncongested condition if you take data here b c or data here because of ramps there may be queuing and that can give you data in this part in this part of the curve and if you take data here let us say at section e this section between on ramp and off ramp is subjected to turbulence 
and therefore it may give you some data here also in the transition part of the curve. So it depends upon location where you are collecting the data. So that is the concept of multi-regime model. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any question, you can write.